Hi there and welcome to another League of Legends playthrough. So, full disclosure, I have no idea what I'm going to be playing today. But uh, in Champs Luck, we're off to an interesting start, considering my uh, support Mundo has taken Smite and locked in support Mundo. So already you know it's going to be one of those great games on the Rift. But I'm not sure what I'm going to be playing today, because to be honest, I have played Caitlyn, Jin, and I think one game of Tristana since they've changed everything. So... Not too sure how playing anything I don't know how to play will go, so I'm going to go ahead and declare Caitlyn. You know, I know that uh, MF counters Jin quite a bit, so I'm just going to play it safe in this regard. Okay, I can see my Lux jungle has locked in Lux jungle, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that they're duo and that we're going to get a trade soon. At least, I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be just an interesting game all around. Let's grab my... Uh, my ruin page make sure I got everything correct as you can see I have just the most basic Caitlyn skin but you know what on this channel we like basic basic is simple I also have the most basic Jin skin so we're gonna go ahead and load into this game so I'm not entirely sure what you build on Caitlyn these days but I am keen to try it out you know figure out the build because at the end of season 10 I really have my my build's down packed. You named an AD carry and I knew what to do. Now I have no idea. I I have less than an idea, really like negative ideas. So excuse my speech recognition interfering like that on our private moment here. Um <laughs> I don't know, it pops up every time. I could turn it off, but that would be effort. Alright, so we got a Seraphine on our team, which, you know, the bastard child of Riot Games. The current, sorry, should I say the current bastard child of Riot Games? Because let's face it, there are a lot of bastard children coming out at the moment. But I'm looking forward to see what Sona Mark 2 can do in this game. I see that, okay, they didn't trade, so obviously he's going to go jungle, she's going to go support. I hope, again, like, fingers crossed, that's the arrangement, because if it's not... Oh, bud, this is going to be fun. But I got home from work now, and I was like, you know what? I could sleep like a normal human would, or I could play a game of League of Legends to put online, you know? And you know what this logical human being did? I could have gone ahead and, and done the smart thing, but now here I am recording, because uh, in this house, we uh, we don't do the smart decision. We go for the uh, the stupidest one. Hence the playing League of Legends and playing League of Legends after a full shift. That is just the decision we had to make. I will say from the uh, the last gameplay I did of the uh, Jin game, I have kind of picked up that uh, one. Okay, I'm gonna turn down my in-game volume real quick because I didn't turn it. Uh, I did turn it up for a game I played it the other day. So one thing I learned was that I can't keep. Uh, <laughs> I can't keep cycling past my microphone like a, a Tie Fighter, which I was doing in the last playthrough. So my voice quality went from like really good to like wow off the charts. So I have picked that up, which, you know, I'm learning. I'm getting there. Um, I will apologize again for my accent fluctuations. I can hear them. Uh, like I said in the last video, I work for an overseas call center. So I deal with um, overseas customers all the time of all different kinds of accents, which one makes you really good at doing accents. But two, it does mean that unfortunately you come home and you're talking like this the whole time until you kind of it kind of wears off a bit and then everyone's like why do you sound like an idiot and you're like well i'm not trying to i'm just sounding like i do at work this is how i have to sound so people don't get scared of me as a call center agent you know anyway back to the game because we're loaded in so our mundo jungle is a mundo jungle our support started a support item which is great i will say i'm very interested to see i haven't tried any jungling since season change and i am leveled on quite a few junglers this uh this new ember knife looks like a really interesting item it looks like a new interesting way to handle jungling i mean i can't say personally i did prefer the old method because again it was one of those things where i've been <laughs> playing league for so long and they went ahead and they they changed my baby and I, I couldn't just brainlessly build anymore i had to use my brain obviously we're leashing our caitlin so we want to leash from the bush so we can get that uh faster proc fourth order we're gonna go through the lane you know i do like the fact that you can now start tier as a starting item you know i think that's quite cool on the behalf of the uh 
just you know considering how popular it became especially in the last kind of season i missed pff, everything there but you know in this channel you are promised low elo content and who would i be to take that low elo content away from you we missed the first three minions to prove a point on this channel just gonna let my support go ahead and just tank all their damage real quick you know just to be sure that that the support's paying attention you know that's that's what we're about here the support's just got to make sure that you know if they use a flash and ignite on him that or her that 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 works too i'm gonna put traps down to kind of stop the lulu poking I should have actually ordered there. I should have used my uh, my fourth my fourth shot. It's fifth, my fifth shot. Sorry, I'm not playing Jin. I should have used my fifth shot um, instead of uh, my my Q. But you know, that's okay too. We're just playing some some chill League of Legends. It would have been really embarrassing if I missed the cannon minion though. That really would have uh, that really would have done it. I'm just gonna dust some of the wave. Um, to poke. This is going decently. I'm up to CS, which is not major, but it's something. I'm gonna let my support poke. It's gonna. Oh, and that that's why we do that. Please don't hurt me. I am being held in place and abused okay i think misfortune flashed there but god damn that taunt was something else okay it is a lulu please don't step close to me you if my support had killed me there that would have been something else you know step walked up double up killed me the ramus is still here Okay, their Teemo got first blood. Not great, but yeah, that's fine. Yo, I had the wave in such like a nice little position. Me and the wave felt close and personal. I gotta go fix it again. Whoa, really, buddy? Again? Calm down. I know I'm good looking, but twice. Oh, we like to see the low elo flaming over here. You know, it's already starting. I'm gonna put traps down because I know they they either trying to set up a dive or they're just, you know, being full of shit. But I am out of mana, which is fine as well. Oh no, I'm gonna have to flash. Why is he still here? They've gotta be they've gotta be at a party or something. You know. Very interesting maneuver on the behalf of the the uh, Lulu there. Gonna stop this Ramos's back, keep him here for a bit. Glad to see our Lux is on the same page. Okay, I would like I would like some CS because I would like to actually have farm. I gave up a lot for that, you know, not dying. Just some low elo farming simulator over here, you know. Who needs Stardew Valley when you can watch this? That's what I'm saying. Luckily, I didn't like put too big of a lead between me and the other AD carry, so I feel like I can just regain this quickly if I farm efficiently. I say as I miss a minion, that is efficient farming. Okay, and we're back. So we're both in the same place. I got a bit more gold because I killed her support because the support misplayed. Okay, she walked into a trap, which really kept me alive there. I know I'm overstaying here, but I want to hopefully back at like maybe 2k because I feel like the waves in a decent spot I feel like we're relatively safe now unless this Ramus comes back again which would 
you know, I cannot stress this enough. I call this like low elo playing. This is like we deserve, we belong in the classic division. But I like this game, so I'm here to have fun. I'm here to you have for you guys to have fun. Maybe watching. I'm not here to break records because that that ain't happening. I will say, um, following the news recently about just post Worlds 2020, just how many uh, pros have stepped down and changed teams, and like obviously that happens every year, but it has been so many this year. Like Double Lift apparently has retired. Okay, I, I, that's unconfirmed for me. I just saw an article saying maybe he's retired, but like apparently Double Lift might have retired. They've been like, you know pros changing over left right and center like it's crazy i mean like i was actually surprised a lot more the pros didn't retire personally because i said this to my friend who i i, I like i i taught him league of legends essentially he's getting a lot better but i was like come play with me come let me show you the game because i really enjoy this game and i want to just i want to show you what it's about i want to show you what's popping with the game um and i said to him at the start of season 10 season 11 sorry um because I what are we building today? I believe Kraken Slayer is like really good. So I think I'm just gonna build Kraken Slayer just you know, it's easy, it's simple, I kinda know what it does, so we're gonna stick with that today. Um as we know the stats of Kraken Slayer are really good, the attack damage, we got more attack speed and the twenty percent crit strike on Caitlyn with you know the extra two damage. That's just really nice. So we're going to go with that today. But anyway, I was saying to him today, or the other day when we were talking about it, because I taught him how to play Aspects of League in Season 10. And then I started a new job, and I was busy, and I didn't really have time to play a lot of League for a few weeks. And during that time, the uh, the new season started. And, you know, I knew big changes were coming at the start of the new season. Everyone did. You know, we, we all knew that the game was mass massively changing. And I think everyone who plays League and has played League for a while has known that the game is massively changing for a good, good, a good amount of time now, you know. I don't think anyone was, was surprised when they announced just these massive item changes and overhauls and Jesus, not again. Mm. Oh, that is unfortunate. I really thought I'd kill him there. Anyway, so then the new season started, and like I said, I didn't have the most time to play League at that point, but I was still playing, you know, when I had a minute, or when I had free time, and then the new season started, and I had known for a long time, look, the game's going to change, and that's how I actually convinced him to start playing, because, you know, he played Dota for the longest time, and I said to him, look, you know, the game's changing now, so if you want to learn the game, this is the best chance for you, because it's going to be completely different next season. I said, like, a lot of old players, they're going to be... They're going to be relearning the game, essentially. I will be relearning the game, essentially. But then the new season finally comes. The story is getting really elaborate, and I'm trying to wrap it up. I've been told by everyone who knows me that I, I do need to learn how to wrap up a good story. Um, so I can only imagine how it's going with this bad story. <laughs> Just how, uh, how enjoyable this must be. But anyway, uh, I actually ended up saying to him, I was like, you know, I knew that the items were going to change, but with all these item changes, I'm thinking about stopping playing league just because i've known these builds for years and years and years i've known what to build on champs i've known matchups and everything i was like this this changes everything and you know how does this affect me and how do i how do i play this so i really thought at the end of this season we'd have a lot more pros stepping down we'd have a lot more you know these old players who have been in the game for years and years and years i really thought more of them would have retired so i was surprised when then like uh, there was a less retirings and more just like obviously with any pro professional sport there's a lot more moving around and you know this team has bought this player and this player has decided to step down from this team you know which i think is uh like i said par for par for the course with any pro sport apparently my team are just uh really doing interesting things here goodbye misfortune I love it. I love landing that ultimate. It's just something about it makes me so happy. It's the same as landing all four shots of Jin's ult. You just feel, just feel good about it. But yeah, I was surprised that there was there were pros retiring, but it was much less than what I had anticipated. 
and I think it's a lot less than a lot of people who uh, analyze the, the professional goings on of League of Legends thought would happen as well. But here we are, just a lot of new teams. I said to my friend the other day, another friend, ironically, who plays League, uh, I was like, Take, keeping track of the next Worlds is going to be a nightmare because now all these players who have been on these teams for years and years and years <laughs> are now not on the teams. I really don't want to have to flash here, guys. So I'm going to just walk away. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to actually... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to flash that, but when she uh, when she transmogulated, then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to flash here. And my Lux is going to die to a Lulu support. I'm not healing for you. Okay, I, I said I wasn't going to heal for her. I actually was going to if I had got her in time, but I didn't expect the uh, Lulu to flash. I didn't expect the flash, and I didn't expect that damage. But anyway, here we are. I was going to bum my locks went and died off, because holy cow, that's a lot of damage for a support. Dude, I played, I play a lot of MF, you're not going to get me with double up. I can predict that shit in my sleep. I'm actually kind of, I'm happy with how this, uh, this lane is going so far. Not the best, obviously, because this Lulu is a very aggressive player. Um... But like, I'm glad that I'm just, I'm farming, I'm going back to another 2k gold now so I can get boots, so I can get Kraken Slayer, which are just, you know, better stats, better advantage, better advantage, more likely to win. I also think, you know, the score's 9 to 6 now, I don't think any towers have fallen, no, we don't, haven't lost any towers, so we're just going to keep on, we're going to push for the uh, the long game here. I didn't even know that they changed, uh, changed Farsight's look. I'm not a big fan of the new boot look. If I'm completely honest, I'm just going to go with, uh, yeah, definitely Mercury Treads here. Not Mercury Treads, sorry. Ni what was Ninja Tabby, I guess. Uh, plated Steel Caps. I'm not a big fan of the new look of the boots. I'm going to be honest. Like, the new items, I think they look okay. I think they're like, yeah, alright. But I don't like the new boots. I think they look way too much like a mobile game, essentially. Like, if that makes sense, I don't know if it does, but I just feel like... Like I can I can acknowledge that there were a lot of items from the old the old look. Wow, this MF's alt is up whew, quite often. All right, the set TP didn't make sense to me because I, she's she's outie, dude. She gone. You know, I can acknowledge that there were a lot of items in the old season that didn't look great. It didn't make much sense. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Help, 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 help. Root him, please. Yes, slow him. Ah, uh, Lux. Uh, Ramus? No, come back, Misfortune, please. Uh, I, I knew that wouldn't kill her, but I thought, like, oh, maybe, you know. But it'll force her to back, so. That was just a misplay from her right there. That was just. She stepped up without thinking about just the CC chain you can put in place as a. As really any CC support, and then Caitlyn. Um, you know, like, just, you CC them, you, you CC your trap, then auto with the trap, then uh, 90 caliber net back as that um, auto goes off. You combo that, the damage is crazy. So she, I just, think, I don't think she anticipated that. In the same way, I didn't anticipate when she flash killed Lux earlier. I really thought that, you know. Um, I really thought that she wouldn't do the damage she did, but I stood corrected. I think I'm gonna go with just I E next. I think. I do like the new bloodthirster look. I think that looks really cool. I think I'm just gonna go with. 
IE again. Like, I'm not entirely sure. That's the one thing as an AD carry player, which I definitely played uh, so much AD carry in, um, so much AD carry in season 10. I'm not quite sure what I want to play this season. There's a fair chance I might play. Wow, if this Lulu chases that, that'd be crazy. Uh, oh no, that's bad. The Seraphine must fight. She must go in. Cool, cool. I thought that that fight was uh, sloppy here. Eh? Oh no you don't. It's gonna trap down this lane. They don't have a bot tower, so I feel kinda comfortable staying here, but what this does is it means that the uh the Asuo can't get all you know dashy slashy on me if he can't walk up. If he does walk up though, I'm pretty sure I can kill him. That's such a fun ability. I love it. See? He walked up and I just instantly, that's what I was waiting for. Very weird place to put a Rift Herald, but um, that's okay too. Anyway, I was ranting about the boots and then I got distracted. So, you know, back to the boots. I was like, what I was going to say is that I feel like there were a lot of items in League that I was like, yeah, that needs a new look. That looks... Ugly doesn't, uh, ugly doesn't do justice to how that looks, right? Mundo got an ulti if he has it, eh? Because I don't think he survives without it. Oh. Yeah, ward that. Hmm, I could have sworn I saw Lulu here. And I had a control ward down, so I'm not sure where she, uh... Where she... Went. Oh, she's over there. Um, Mundo, baby. Please, uh, come back home. Oh, yell or please come back home. I've never watched that movie, so I don't know if that's a, the correct reference. Alright. Not the cleanest uh, at all, but we got the uh, Drake. Decent fight mid, bit of a skirmish. I want that tower to fall, uh, but we're doing okay. But yeah, that's the one thing, as, as I was saying, as an AD carry player, I'm not entirely sure how IE now synergizes into my kit. Because, you know, beforehand you had, like, the standards. It was IE, Rapid Fire, Storm Razor were definitely, like, these, uh, you know, these items that, like, that's what you built, that's what you did, that's what you took. Uh, well, obviously, game dependent, but they were kind of, like, the core items, if I can put it like that, for AD carries. Um, and now it's like you got all these new items which are so relevant to AD carries, and I'm like... I'm like, well, I don't know what that does. I do know that this blue buff is now mine, though. Which feels quite nice. Oh, no. Fighting the Elsa, I'm definitely a bit unsure of that. Fighting, like, everyone else in the team at this point, like, easy, easy peasy, lemon. The lemon's gonna get squeezed, dude. But, uh, the Elsa... flash that I gotta get down talking and team fighting because uh, to put it frankly I am not very good at it all right we're doing all right you know I do like how this feels on Caitlyn I definitely like just the kit synergy the uh, the feel of the item also I like the uh, the visual that you get with the uh, with the item now, so that's quite cool. I missed the cannon, but that's fine. I'm actually just shoving this for the sake of shoving it. I actually don't mind if I get the CS or not. I have IE now already from a uh, trim that fight. I'm gonna see if this red buffs up. Um, our vision is is not atrocious, but we could really use better vision on the map. 
Especially against such a fast rotating team comp. But anyway, again, this is low elo, and I'm in this elo, so <laughs> not my place to comment really. That's that's not my circus, not my monkeys. Um, but yeah, I like how this build is feeling. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage early game, so the question for me now is more: How does that damage now reach the late game? I think I'm gonna go Storm Raise the third, kind of sticking to the more traditional, uh, the more traditional Caitlyn build, which is obviously that, that burst. Um, I don't know. I would also like to try this the Navori Quick Blades, which I pointed out in the last video as an item that I'm kind of like, huh? I actually like how that feels because of the the CDR. That also looks interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. You know, this the CDR and this uh, Quick Blades item. I'm not sure how it works. I'm not sure if I'm getting CDR. Maybe it's just a uh, take it. Oh, he didn't take it. Maybe it's just a hallucination that I'm like, I'm getting CDR and I'm not. Um, but um, it seems like a, like a decent item, really, for the, uh, the stats. Okay, I'm doing about 900 damage now. So, your critical strikes with attacks reduce your non-ultimate cooldown by 20% of the remaining cooldown. That just, it sounds good. Like, pretty sure a pro out there will be like, dude, you're, you're being an idiot. This is not a good item. But like, from an item perspective, it sounds good. Like, Caitlyn traps have like a decently long cooldown. So does like, you know, 90 cal of a net. Not the longest cooldown, but definitely like, uh, buddy. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and heal here. Just pick one to ult. Ramus, oh Ramus, sweetie, come home. I'll make your favorite cottage pie, or you know, a roly poly or something. I don't know. Very unfortunate the Ramus got out there. I feel like we could have baroned. We had killed all of them. Like even if we hadn't killed all of them, if we had killed like some of them, but the Ramus was part of the some of them, I feel like that would have been pretty big for us. We got Drake. Puts us on a mountain soul. Definitely not bad. But yeah. I'm definitely liking how this build's feeling. You know, considering Caitlyn was a... Caitlyn as a champ was just a monster last season. So I really enjoyed playing Caitlyn for the aspect of just feeling like I was... I was wiping the floor with my opponents. So if I can keep that feeling going, I'm happy. Getting pinged. Uh, mm, are we cheesing here? It looks like Timo is coming. No, Timo is not coming. I'm gonna blast her in that. No, blast her in that. Put a trap there. Oh, we're being, we're being. Uh, now we're in a bit of an awkward position. Uh, because, oh dearie me, now I'm pretty sure I die here. Yeah. Help, Seraphine. Please help, I really, yes. Oh, he survived that? I mean, I'm impressed I have survived that, to be honest. I really didn't think I would. Very interesting that you would, uh... It was just a lot of very questionable decisions on both sides taken there. But anyway, we... <laughs> I digress. <laughs> that was interesting. I'm... 
very surprised I survived that long. I really thought I was dead there. Having a good game though. I feel like my farm could be a lot better, but you know. Just gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna keep on just one objective to the next. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen a jungle. I half expected the jungle to have changed this season. Um, like I walked into the jungle and I was like, Wolves? Grom? Is that you? Oh, they look the same. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Do I want Storm Rays in this game? Because I'm really feeling like I'm doing, frankly, an insane amount of damage. Oh, I've moved. I thought I was recalling. That's awkward. That's awkward. Um, I feel like I'm doing an insane amount of damage, and if my team can keep keeping me safe, then, like, I'm... Do I want to go... Storm Razor? It is a legendary item, and if I understand how this works... All legendary items, 10% attack speed. With Storm Razor slow... I think I'm going to go Storm Razor. Heh! Alright, then. The Mundo tried to solo Baron, or... 2v1 Baron, and then said this team... Again, I love low elo. It's really an experience. The Yasuo is a threat. The Teemo, kind of a threat. The MF, not a threat at all. The Ramus is like, the Ramus is a threat in that he can like, he can just pin me down for so long and do so much damage. But in terms of like, in terms of like actual damage, I'm not too worried. As long as I can get away from him. Oh, apparently we're, uh, we're fighting. Hey, dude. Sorry to do this to you. Man! Landed that, like, beautiful ult to the fleeing Ramos. I was hoping he'd, like, queue away, and as he queue away, just see my ult chasing him down. And the bastard child of Sonet killed it. That's fine. This is a team game. We're all about teamwork here. I'm gonna shove this in. I don't want to shove too far, but like maybe push the next wave, I have the key to the ship. and then let the wave push itself. I just love how this champion feels. Honestly, like just everything from like the way the auto attacks feel to the champ itself just feels satisfying to play. We're gonna trap up here, obviously, because hello. It's gonna get the movement speed boost from that. Nice. No penta for me? Come on. Like, aren't we being... We're just giving donations here. Uh, I keep getting really worried in these fights. I'm like, I'm like, I don't mind if I die. But also I feel like if I die, my team's just going to lose the game. <laughs> I will say, really liking how the Storm Razor feels with this. Just the slow feels so strong. It feels almost stupidly strong, if I'm honest. Like, the slow with, like, this combined, just... I feel like I'm just doing so much damage. And I still have two item slots uh, once I sell my starting item and all that. So... I said I'm still still adjusting to these new items, but really I don't think they feel bad at all. Um, I really do like the. Uh, what? Oh no! Oh, you hate to see it happen. They're gonna go barren now. Mm, that is some 
poor decision making if I do say so. See, like, I can fight them if my team engages. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Wow, this- oh! Oh, what did I just watch? That was something else. Okay, I'm gonna go GA now because, like, I say no, I'm okay with dying, and then I die, and I was like, <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, yeah, they changed chat as well. I don't know how many of you saw that. They've changed the way chat looks. I... I don't like it. Um, I do like the set's in-game behavior, I do say. What a... what a gentleman. Back in my day, we spoke like that as well, apparently. Really, just top-class guy. It's okay, we, st we stopped Baron, but my beautiful Katie... Hey! I didn't want to lose that that perfect zero death, but I mean, that's fine. You know, I'm pretty sure we still win the game. Game's definitely going on for a lot longer than I thought it would. We're at like what 36 minutes since I started recording now. 34 minutes into the game. It's fine. I feel like I've got I've got GA now, and I'm not sure how like again how this will synergize with my kit because it's obviously just it's a very different item. Um. But I feel like now, like like I said, the Yasuo is the threat, and I, that was proved that fight is that like if the Yasuo hadn't have got me with that wind wall, just that, that he nicked me with that knock up and he got me, um, then I, I think I would have survived. But um, also, it's it's unfortunate because obviously set alt is such a powerful tool, but I do feel like uh, with our set, um, where did she die? See, see him because you. Do not win that. Didn't even get an assist. No, minions, come back, please. I just want to kill you. No, don't run like that. It's okay. We're family. We're friends here. Do you guys ever wonder where the minions come from? The, these, like, tiny humanoid creatures that you spend, you know hours massacring a day depending how much League of Legends you play I guess oh there's a fight happening in our jungle they probably really don't want to fight at that position it just seems like a really awkward spot for them to fight from wanna see a hat trick? oh broski my entire team please My god. That is frustrating. I'm not mad because, again, this is very low elo, and I think if this was a higher elo and you, know, you were 13 and 0, your team would be like, let's play around the person. Who's giving us quite a large advantage in this era we uh we start a fight in which we lose the main damage output 10 seconds before elder dragon spawns so that's not a great decision in our junglers across the map yo that see what i mean this 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 is crazy these tank items whew, something else he killed me through a ga tower dived and still killed me that's crazy to me Right, it was like, yeah, we're giving AD carry and lethality a lot to work with here, but this they're, they're going to lose this. But we're also making tanks the most terrifying thing you've seen on Summoner's Rift since, insert terrifying, they're going to lose this, I'm telling you now. Oh? You know, Sek got a triple kill, that's pretty cool. I really thought that they would lose that Drake. Like, honestly, I thought that was such a poor decision. Oh, 
there it is, guys. That's the surrender. I'm a bit, uns I'm a bit unfortunate. I'm a bit sad. I died twice. But at the same time, I really thought that didn't go badly. You know, I think that game went pretty well. Again, I'm not salty I died, but at the same time, it would have been nice to survive. I'm going to give it to that set. Got that triple kill at the end. Pretty cool. Let's not pay attention to this. I know I played too much of this game. We're just going to pretend we didn't see anything. We're going to go on about our day. You're, if I hadn't have died, that would have been an M7 token. That's very unfortunate. But you win some, you lose some. Well, we won this one. But, like, we could have done better. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. Thanks for joining me for the game. I'll see you guys next time. This has been really fun. Enjoy the rest of your days, guys.